this moment, I'm putting my old seed and stuff back on. And of course, Murphy's Law, whenever you're getting anything done, something's got to go wrong. So that's what's left of my welding shield. That's all I have left to use. The rest of it's in there. Uh, so I got to get by today just by using this piece. Which is good enough. It blocks my eyes, so that's all I care. I don't care if I get a little bit of sunburn on my face. So we got we got the posts there welded on for the for the rear shocks. Seat mounted shocks. Doesn't actually have any rear suspension, but that's where I'll be sitting, so basically has rear suspension. Oh, just got this mounting plate welded on here. This plate here. I have to try and weld a hole in it or drill a hole in it. Because I'm going to try and put this chopper seat on there. And it's got a bolt hole in the back and a clip at the front. So, bolt hole goes into that plate. And then I gotta put something up front for the thing to clip into. So that's, that's what I'm working on this very instant. Just getting all this shit welded up. Get her all back together. All right guys, so I would show you the finished product. Give you a little ride view. Alright guys, so that's how she rides. That's what she looks like. Basically the same build as my old bike, just a different seat. Rear shocks. Well, <laughs> front shocks on the back. I still have to double bolt these so that they don't come loose like they already have. Because these have to... Uh, pivot back and forward a little bit as the suspension works so you need them like yeah loose but not loose loose so I gotta double nut those but anyway guys that's pretty much it two extra pegs welded on for the suspension to sit on as you can see I had to split the front forks to make them wider we have a Chopper seat, custom mounted. That's pretty basic, guys. Old door hinge so that it can flex and stuff. That way the suspension works. And the BMX style front forks to give you that chopper ride. So anyway guys, that's what I got finished today and uh, keep you updated.